What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Venom in Marvel Rivals. Today I'll be giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Venom, the best strategies to be aware of, and of course some fun team comps that you can use today. I'll even be showing it all off in a match so you can see what I'm talking about. Subscribe here for more Marvel Rivals content and let's talk about Venom. Probably one of my favorite tanks, Venom is a blast. Before I quickly go over his abilities, his passive, stuff like that, you need to change this one setting. Go to your settings, go to controller, go over to combat, filter it out by hero, choose Venom, go down to hero and turn easy switch off because while easy swing is on it will literally automatically swing for you so if I'm pointing just in that direction and I press to swing I'm gonna just swing and that's fine most of the time but playing venom you want more control over your swing you want more control over your mobility in general so with easy swing turned off if I'm aiming at this wall for example I just want to get there I will quite literally just get there I won't swing so now you have the ability to like zip to places and that can be huge for like getting on payloads or points and you can still swing don't get me wrong you just now have more control over your swing you gotta aim it yes but that's totally fine now that you've changed that setting let's go over his ability first of all his awesome passive you can climb on walls so here we go and we can even run on the walls and the ceiling so this is great for like ambush attacks stuff like that just wait for your opponents to walk out and then just do your diving strike hello because that is a big move you have the diving strike from the air you can't do it while just hopping if you're high enough in the air you have that diving strike move which is really good so again while you're waiting for your opponents to ambush them you have that diving strike move and that's always great your standard attack is a symbiote tentacle kind of attack it does pretty good damage you can also get headshots off of that which is really nice it's also got pretty decent range we are about 15 meters away and we will still connect this move keep in mind it's not just meant for like a melee attack up close you can do it from what feels like pretty far away and still connect those hits but if you are up close you do have a melee attack if you want to like it's not bad if you don't want to go for the tentacles you can just go for the punches I don't know why you would, but you could. So we can swing, we can climb walls, we can tentacle attack, we can dive strike. Cellular corrosion is an explosion of the symbiote where it slows down enemies that are really close to you. And if they don't get away in time, they take damage. So you basically do this move and then don't get away from them. So that way they do take damage lately. So you do this move, slow your opponent down, don't let up, get in their face. So if they don't get away in time, they will take damage. And then one more punch, they're dead. And then lastly, we have symbiotic resilience. This is why he's called a tank. He gains bonus health. The lower your health, health is the more bonus health you'll gain so you don't want to do it when you're in my opinion above half health if we're all the way down here below 200 health and we do symbiotic resilience we go all the way up to 900 health that's crazy allowing you to stay alive a lot longer and really just take the heat for your team as the tank you're supposed to be now what about venom's ultimate move so we go into feast of the abyss now what it does is we go underground we can come back up and do some damage and that's fine but as you see it doesn't really kill even the lower health enemies but it does damage basically Based on the enemy's current health anyways and then you can generate equivalent bonus health off of that but here i'll show you again so let's go in we'll, we'll find the opponents and then do it see our bonus health there and then it did better damage do you have a move that gets you bonus health even your ultimate move gives you bonus health i love that we don't have to reload our tentacles they're just always there i love the range on it i love having awesome mobility as a tank venom is just awesome but what about team comms team up abilities stuff like that who do you want to be playing with well my first choice is spider-man because for an example if we're spider-man we're playing with venom the spider-man player gets an extra move the symbiotic explosion that actually pushes enemies <laughs> pretty good away so we can push them off of like payloads or points stuff like that spider-man's a great dps and paired up with venom an awesome tank this is a great duo penny also I gets that same benefit so pairing venom with penny or spider-man for that reason alone is also great venom also gets an extra 150 health spider-man gets a 10 percent damage boost so more moves more health more damage these team ups are great but if you're playing venom as a tank who else do you want to team up with well even though you're a tank you're a tank that likes to get in close and personal so you need really good healers that can heal you and just keep you alive as you're taking damage because you're in there doing damage so i love having jeff on my team for this reason healers that can heal me afar like cloak and dagger and healers like mantis that can heal me and let me do more damage i like to pair up with really fun dps that just get close to person like i do because while they're focused Focused on characters like Wolverine or focused on me even as Venom, I'm taking the hits while Wolverine here is doing the hits as well. Same thing with characters like Black Panther and Magic. As a very mobile tank that has pretty good health, can kind of heal myself, staying alive for so long is just kind of like my favorite game plan. So I like playing with the healers. There's a lot of fun team comps with Venom. These are just a few of my favorites. Let me know your favorites down below. Now that we know how to play Venom, let's put it into practice. Let me show you what it looks like in a match. Have you subscribed yet? Yeah, I hope so. Oh yeah, we got the Spider-Man team up ability now we have more health as you can see there he does more damage and has a new move perfect you really like captain america from afar come on 
He's being kept alive. There you go. It's finally done. So is Groot. Love to see that. You can zip on in there. Get close and personal. Go and just slam down on him. Get rid of this uh, Adam. He's pissing me off. There we go. Okay, there's four of them here. We're going to ult real quick. Oh, they ulted right back too. Hilarious. We got a little bit of bonus health. That's fine. Adam Warlock is dead though. We forget we can actually stun our opponents, make them slower. Let's do that. Yeah, you guys are slow. Don't get away from me. Take more damage. There it is. Perfect. All right, we're going to swing in, slam down, do our ult, and I think that'll be really good. Okay, let's go and slam down. Do our ult real quick. Get him. Oh, that was actually really good. I ain't going to lie. Give us Adam Warlock real quick. We got bonus health too, which has been very nice. And yeah, baby, that is Venom. Get up close and personal. Slow him down. Gain more health. Do the damage. Be that tank. Take the heat. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of Venom in Marvel Rivals? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Is he your main? Let me know all your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Marvel Rivals news, guides, reactions, and more.